Something I came up with quite by accident was this tri bag. Initially, I wanted one big fat heavy bag. I have sandbag, but I wanted a big fat bag. And they, well, you can't buy these things. So I thought of just sticking three normal bags together and you know, see what I came up with. What I came up with was this the tri bag. Because it's on three different angles and it swivels around in a circle, the angles keep changing. Your shot keeps changing. You can't, for one second, you'll be in a perfect position for a straight right, and then a, a split second later, it won't work. Because the bag moving too fast, the angles change too quickly. A round bag, normal single bag on its own, is easy. Angles never change, it's always smooth. The bag will change. But the angle of the bag stays the same, always. With this, completely different story. Lots of little tricks you can pick up, lots of new things you can play with. Uh, it's, it's the closest thing I've come to with the heavy bag, which resembles your opponent. Watch it out. Check it out. There I'll show you quickly, if you hit it really hard with any shot, it will probably bring the bag back in on itself from the other direction. So the harder I hit with my left over here, the harder it's going to move in this way for the right hook. And that makes a nice training tool because you can practice that over and over and over again. Whereas you would with your coach with pads, doing a straight right and a hook. One, two, three, four. You need a coach. If you don't have a coach, you're in trouble. Now, doing the same combination here, hitting it there, bringing it there, over and over, looping it. So the harder you hit it, the harder you have to hit it. Like so. It's basically like having a heavy bad speedball. Another nice thing to play with is hitting around the shot, hitting around arms. Hitting a bag is easy, it's smooth. No arms in the way, no head, no shoulders, just a nice smooth target. Practice on the bag all the time and then fight a real person, you'll soon discover that your focus point isn't here. This is where the guy's arms are. Your focus point is normally over there, behind his arms. So when you're fighting and you hit the guard, the guy can ride that quite easily because your focus stops here on his arms. Bang. You've taught yourself to stop your focus on the first thing you hit. Bang. But your target is behind these guys. So yeah. Aside from hitting straight punches, if you practice later on the double bang, hitting around these guys, for the target for the hook over here, around. This being the arms, that being the head. Practice over and over again. Just teaching you to really extend your hook out there, reach for the shot. Even though you're close to your target there, you still have to go for the high to extend it, pulling the other shoulder back, twisting your hips in, lifting your heel up, reaching out for that hook. A lot of guys when they practice hooks, they practice here. There. The guy you're fighting isn't there, he's over there. Just a yard, not that much foot. And that makes all the difference. If you practice this thing here, in the real world, or in a fight, if you have to hit someone just a little bit further away, your power is going to be diminished by up to 70% because you didn't practice. You practice here, not there. Again. <coughs> Well, there's lots of things you can come up with this training with it, but you gotta play. You can see there's a new tool, a new, new piece of equipment, just play with it, enjoy it. Come up with new exercises. Well, that's what I do anyway, every time I play with it. Have fun.